Bitcoin and Ethereum. What's his next move? Let's find out in the short show. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not so good. <laughs> not so good. Well, um, we can see that Bitcoin has, you know, once it broke this neckline here uh, for this M pattern, right? We were here and it was like, uh, maybe we could have come back up to there and then came back down. But nope, it did not do that. We're breaking down, as you can see. And we're going to be talking about that and where its targets are and uh, how to trade it, where we're going to go. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully we can figure out uh, maybe Bitcoin can probably turn around sometime soon. Is there any kind of bullishness to have? Uh, <laughs> yeah, bullishness and hope if you take some hope you'll gas. <laughs> but yes, you know, um, this, we're clearly in a, in a bearish market, right? Um, everything um, is, is, is headed in that direction. It's kind of weird with, of course, with the amount of uh, money printing they're doing and, and, you know, the Federal Reserve nonstop with, the, with, with, with it, you know, keeping interest rates at zero and there's no choice for them. But this is the way the market's trade. We have to go with the chart. We can't um, look at the, the, the fundamental view, right? Because fundamentals, right? There's a difference between fundamentals and technicals, right? We can look at the fundamentals and say, Bitcoin should be skyrocketing. Yes, everything in the fundamentals says that. But the technicals, right, are what the short term says, right? What the short to medium term says, says it's going to do. And that's it. And you have to accept it. Fundamentals give you a long term view, perspective. So showing you know that, mm, you know what, if I bought here at 38,000 right now, uh, I know that eventually Bitcoin will do well. No, no, so that's that's the fundamental case of Bitcoin, right? And so that's all you have to do. But in the short term, Bitcoin is going to go up or down like a whore's drawers. And that's what you're going to trade on, right? All right, so if you're interested in trading, right, you can do so at bible.davincij15.com or femex.davincij15.com. So let's go on to the charts and see what's happening. Um, well, you know, we just created what, which is deadly, the deadly M pattern here, right? Nothing new, right? The trend's your friend to an end. So obviously this M pattern was going to, um, you know, take us to the target. And I believe it has, right? Um, right. If we were to take this target and we bring it down to here in the breakout, you can see, well, no, we have a little bit more to go, a little, just a little bit more to go. Um, let's just take the, the Fibonacci sequence and see where um, that takes us um, when it comes to um, what, what, just around the turn here. And you can see this last turn, right? We're at 78.6. But if we go further down, I bet you, because you know, Fib, Fib, we have to go all the way back to the, um, to this last turn which is the 32,900 uh level um you can see the 61.8 is right there just below it yeah so you know i wouldn't be surprised if we just peak below the 61.8 and then reverse but most likely we're going to continue down to the uh and, and take out the 78.6 and most likely uh these levels here this would be with this level right here if we just take it out and, and then can reverse right here which is the $35,500 dollar level. If we just take that out and reverse, that would be your the best case hoping dreams. That would be the bottom to, to hope for, uh, to, to turn around. But um, it could go as low as, right, as following this, this downward trend line. We can break down all the way to this trend line and breaking the previous lows. This is the this is a disaster scenario, of course. Now, Bitcoin, of course, has to hold the $30,000 level, no matter what, or else, um, you know, we can see the 18000 even close to as low as 11000 according to technical analysis, right? We have to accept that even though it's not, it doesn't make any sense, right? Under according to fundamental analysis, it makes zero sense, right? Fundamentally, um, because, well, you know, you have, uh, you know, big players buying Bitcoin right more so than ethereum you have big players you have corporations and you have um you know grayscale and so many places where bitcoin is being held 
for it to go all the way to 11,000, it just seems ridiculous. <laughs> Fundamentally, right? So we have to wait, of course. Now, technically, we have to wait, of course. We can't say uh, that it will go all the way there. Technically, that it can do that. Doesn't mean it will do that. Right? So we have to wait and see what happens to know whether or not it's going to reach the next level. So a lower than 29, lower than 29,000, right? About 29,000 approximately, right? A breakdown below that could proceed Bitcoin breakdown as low as 25 and even further to, to 20,000 and possibly 18, right? Once we break below 18, then the 11,000 is more likely. So um, let's just zoom out at the bigger picture because, you know, this is uh, that's a key thing, right? We want to look at the bigger picture of this whole thing and see what's going on and uh, see what how badly this big picture is going to draw out. You can see that we close the month here um, in, in red territory. This is, this is going to be a, a solid confirmation that we're going to be continuing downwards, unfortunately. Um, that's, that's what, that's what uh, the monthly candles are telling us. We have to accept that. That's the way it is. Now, it doesn't mean that it has to be that way. It's just the probabilities are favoring that we're going down. So we have to accept what we see here. All right? We can't just go, oh, well, that's not right. Right? The fundamentals to indicate that Bitcoin should be a lot going a lot higher. Why is it doing this? Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> like, so read the technicals and live by that. And the technicals say, because the technicals uh, let you um, live in reality here. And so we draw this. Let me just, uh, actually, you know what? This is, this, what this, this is the Fibonacci level. I'm wondering, what did, what did we say? What did this set to here? Because it's like, and let me change the colors of it because I can't read it. I don't know what, what, where the bottom is on this, this particular Fibonacci level. So here, there we go. I'm change it to white. So three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. That's a good one to, to to set because it's a complete turning point for this bigger move. So we can see that um, the sixty one point eight is at the, the twenty eight thousand uh, dollar level. Um, if, if we go roaring towards that, um, there's a good chance that we're going to bounce. Um, but we can go as low as seventeen. Right and go f even further as low as like eleven thousand, unfortunately, right. and that's just that's, that's right at this this uh, upward trend line here that we've drawn for quite some while now. It it sucks, right? I <laughs> don't want that to happen. <laughs> but there there it is. There's the there's the gloomy picture. You have to look at it. You have to uh, you know accept it. Right, we have what it's not the greatest of M patterns at the top here, but it is, it is an M pattern, right? If this thing plays out, right, um, you can see. Um, let me just undo that. You can see Bitcoin go further lower. All right, so uh, let me head back to this chart here, and uh, you can see we got a sell signal way up here, and it said sell signal on the rock and bringer has caught and brought you uh, some significant profits if you just held on to the sell signal. Just listen, listen to the sell signal and let it go. Just let it go. And yeah, if you wanted to use this simple uh, uh, form of trading, right, which is very, like, somewhat like a memory, right, to, to, um, to use Rock and Brainer, you can do so by heading over to uh, uh, payments.rockandbrainer.io and you can purchase this very simple indicator that seems to be working like a charm for any of you that are using it right now okay so let's head over to uh ethereum uh before i go that uh, let me talk about uh Davitar. we've uh, released a lot of new uh information please check out uh subscribe and and uh, join our, our our group check out the twitter right and you can learn more about what's going on in the Davitar universe which i'm not going to give it to you just yet I'm just going to wait until you subscribe and find out. Okay. Um, yes. So as you can see, uh, 
Ethereum, we broke once we broke this this upward trend line. It was like, oh, yeah. And yeah, we continued down. We've clearly created another M. We could say the trend's your friend to the end. And you know what, guys? Honestly, right? We are in a downtrend. Every single M should be respected, right? And expected to take their targets to their get to their targets until we see Bitcoin or Ethereum turn around and do something different. So you can see that from this this level here, we have oh, well, we could uh, go all the way down, right? Once we broke here, approximately right there, or you can come all the way down to this trend line. Wouldn't be surprised if we're talking like twenty two hundred dollars. $2,200 or lower. Oof. Ouch. <laughs> right. uh, that means we could uh, miss it here. Can we even, you can't even do like, you know, at the Hail Mary at this point. You have to do only the Hail Marys going down because that's, um, that we're, we're reversed into a trend, downward trend. So a Hail Mary down here would be ridiculous um, at this point. It would not, a Hail Mary long actually. At the twenty-four hundred dollars, it's just I would say don't do it <laughs> because we're in downward trend. There's no point in uh, risking um, you know capital to turn uh, to, on a turnaround when we're in a downtrend. Um, we have to do it a little bit differently because the turnaround will probably come where we're testing the bottom too many times and it just can't break through. Right, that's where it is. that's where the turnaround will come. Um, and we'll see it. Um, we'll see that turnaround at that point. Um, we're not going to get that just yet. So the bottom's right down here at the, at the 2100. Let's see if it fails to come down here, right? If it comes in to the 2200 and fails, and then we come back and fail and we back and fail and we keep coming back up, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we could we could end up seeing um, a, a return, but we have to see that, and then we have to see higher highs and higher lows for us to change into a bullish mode, right? So the bull mode is over, right? Um, if you want to switch to cash, that's fine. Uh, just, but just keep in mind, right? These rallies will come, right? Every once in a while and you'll, you'll freak out and might want to, you'll end up buying into those rallies. So, so be careful. Now you have to wait until, you know, you see, uh, if you want to buy back in, you have to wait for the market to change. It's 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 uh, it's nature, and right now it's nature is uh, downward, and and the only way we can see that now, for sure. Well, guess what? Now that um, we've uh, established a clear top here, um, you can see uh, the it was the the level that we have to break above for for Ethereum is thirty two hundred dollars to change our 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 direction basically. We break about thirty-two hundred dollars, right? And we can see um, Bitcoin. Uh, I mean, sorry, Ethereum uh, go breaking higher, right? We know that the trend has changed. As long as we do not break below the thirty twenty-one hundred uh, dollar level, right? Um, the twenty-one hundred sixty actually. Uh, we have to go. We have to stay above that. That's how we can tell that the market has changed direction for sure. Okay, let's uh, head over to talk about the DJ15 token. Yeah, I'm probably sure. I'm sure that the DJ15 token has taken a hit, but that's okay. I'll be buying it a little bit cheaper. I uh, can't see the charts right now. I don't know why. Let's just let's see if I can refresh this thing and see if the charts will show up. Um, and okay, well, if you own the DJ15 token, I will be taking a lot of my cash and buying out the token. And any of my referrals. So when, if you choose Bybit or Femex or Apollo X or whatever exchange you use, right, whatever percentage income I get, I will take that. And a 15, oh, no, 12.5 percent of my income will go into buying up the token and burning. So make sure you own some DJ15 tokens. Okay, uh, I'm going to be. I'm taking a look at this, and I'm saying like, hmm, I'm putting a pause on my my selling right until i see this thing change direction but it looks like it wants to come back down which is interesting which makes me go hmm hmm this should have jetted all the way to 44 really honestly it should have just been like maybe come back here down a little bit and then taken off but this re this reversal it's got me going what the heck 
what's going on at the 44%, just below the 44% at the 43.5, we saw a reversal uh, of, the, of the Bitcoin dominance. And this is like odd, very odd. Because we got the Bollinger Bands on the daily squeezing and then it's ready to, to take a big, very big move. Bounced off at 38.2, very bullish. Everything was bullish. And then all of a sudden this happens? What the heck? I don't know. Are we going into a, a, a bull market that, uh, that's to psych everybody out? This is, well, um, it's, it's, it's still, and the, the thing is, right? You could take a look at this and say, well, Nunchi, we've got lower highs, lower highs here. So we have to say that this is still bearish, right? Still bearish until we break above, way above here, the 48, the 48%. Yes, this move was bullish, but it didn't follow through. It did not follow through. I expected it to follow through. This was serious. Was this, this is serious bounces off here. This is a serious bounce, failure of the bottom here. This bottom, right, once we test the bottom too many times, right, we we and we don't break it, we tend to break higher, right? So, uh, that's what I was expecting, right? Once we failed here to break through and we went higher, right? So things have changed. There's a little bit of a change in the wind here, but it's not 100%, right? It's got to see, right? We can see at the bottom here, at the, the, at the um, you can see that although we have bullish, the bearish divergence, sorry, bearish divergence, Look at this. We have bearish divergence here, but the bearish divergence is not confirmed. It's on the other side, the blue one here. It's not confirmed. So we can't say that this bearish divergence is, you know, solidified. Also, we have bearish divergence on the MACD. Oops. Um, let me undo that. Control Z. We have bearish divergence on the MACD, and I'm going to um, make that bigger. You see, but again, it's not quite confirmed it's almost confirmed almost you can see i've been like, as i adjusted it. it's almost confirmed but it's not quite confirmed so what's going on what's happening right is is this going to um actually go um break down instead of breaking higher we'll have to wait and see we we'll have to wait and we'll watch for the market to tell us what it's going to do, right? And what's how do we know what it's going to do? Well, for sure, if we break the 38.2, right? Let's just move this fib. We break the 38.2, which is 44, 42% right here almost. Um, and then we break this lower level of 41.34%. Yes, things are looking uh, brighter for the, um, for the, 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 the case of uh, a, a alt season. Looking brighter, not absolute, not not, not for sure, right? No, no technical analysis is 100%. But once we break uh, down to this level and we break, which is the 40% or for the 39%, right? We break the 39%, right? Now down here, 39.15%, it's an absolute push. push. And it'll happen fast. Um, you have to you have to just jump into alts like crazy because it's going to be absolutely incredible move as we've jumped all the way down to the thirty six percent level and probably even lower like thirty five percent. So yeah, this will be a, a fantastical move if we break if we break below thirty nine percent. That's all it is. Okay, well. And so right now, I don't see anything happening in the alts, right? But there is a little bit of movement, right? You got to see, but not a whole lot. A lot of red, right? In the last 30 days, um, priced in Bitcoin. And we're not seeing that in the dollar signs either. either. So not sure what, uh, what to think beyond, hey, we, haven't see, we don't see it here. It's not translating in price. Dominant. So maybe it's just um, it, it is just the, the NFT markets that are being included into this uh, dominance. I don't know because the NFT markets are doing very well. 
And uh, yeah, I, I'm getting into the <laughs> NFT markets. If you uh, follow me on Twitter, let's see here. You can find me, right, by, you know, going to DaVinci J15. You can find me anywhere with DaVinci J15 because, you know, that was actually just a username <laughs> that I decided to use. Right. So that nobody else would actually use it. <laughs> but, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, people started using it. So, uh, yeah, here it is. Um, I opened up my own uh, NF, uh, what's it called? My OpenSea account for the well, I mean, I set it up, really. I should have set it up sooner um, than that. I just didn't get around to it. And because uh, I oh, joined in August 2020, when I said this is going to be the next big thing. And I just didn't know what to buy. <laughs> what I knew was it was going to be the next biggest thing. And so, yeah. Um, oh, well. That's the way the ball bounces. So uh, these are on my, all my NFTs that I currently own, right? And yeah, you can, if you follow me there, you can check out my NFTs that I own. Uh, and some of them were given to me, so I won't be selling them uh, at all, even if like even if they go to a large number right um just be holding on to them right look at that some of them just like two cents i, I won't be selling them but that they're if they're gifts i appreciate that and i thank you for the, the bees this this gift over here right um i really appreciate it and yeah i'll just hold on to them right uh as gifts and i appreciate it so if you want to gift me any nfts right i will hold it right in perpetuity um, um, you can do so with that address, and you can, and then I'll be able. People could be, be able to see it basically. And I own that NFT. All right. Well, uh, thank you all for watching. I will be uh, when I buy my NFTs. I'm going to try to buy more than one because I want a little old lady, at least one of them, <laughs> right? and sell them. Sell one. Uh, so I will be doing that over to time so that, um, you know, if I can, if, if I like the, the NFT, I'm going to probably buy more than one and, um, and, you know, sell them over time. If I, uh, uh, sell them on, uh, half on double with the little lady strategy to earn more Ethereum and eventually some more Bitcoin. Because why, why am I doing that? Because I know, and I believe that Bitcoin's real, Bitcoin's here to stay and all of us, including myself, need to be part of Thanks for watching.